this right here is the entrance to probably my favorite spot to visit in my hometown here. Uh, and it's known as the Devil's Drinking Cup. Uh, a few years ago, my dad told me how to find this spot and I had never known about it before. And I came here and from the very first time I came here, I loved it so much. Uh, so yeah, you just saw me. I walked down through town a little bit and down the tracks. And this is the entrance right here. And I wanna share that with you guys today. So let's descend down into the Devil's Drinking Cup. this hill way down there. And I'll show you guys in a second. But first, before I show you the tunnel or go down through the trail system that's down here, we're gonna go right down there on that little beachy area and uh, go for a little swim. I, I'll be honest, I got in way quicker than I was thinking I was going to. <laughs> it kind of was just a blur. I was like, I'm just gonna go for it, man. Oh, but now that the body is refreshed, the fucking blood is flowing, and I'm already wet, I'll figure I'll take a walk through this tunnel, show you guys what that's all about, because it's nice and spooky and mysterious in there. So let's go over there. This is pretty cool through here. Look at all the bugs. I'm probably gonna get eaten alive. <laughs> I love coming in here, bro. Woo! So, let's make our way through. What a weird environment to be in. Like I'm in this fucking tunnel, underground. It's dark as hell and I'm walking through water. It's weird. 
Oh, I see the light at the end of the tunnel. Might as well take a couple steps out of here. Oh, this, the current's strong right there. for our very eyes. <sighs> now let's make our way back through the magical, mysterious tunnel. Give our little fun guy some love, some love and attention. You can expect some fungi hunts this season, this fall for sure. Yo, a train is going by. <laughs> that would have been a little weird if I was under the under that that tunnel. <laughs> Oh snap, or if I was walking down the tracks, I would have been like, uh-oh. You could call that divine timing. I'll tell ya, I love walking barefoot with all of my heart. But when I stub my toe in full stride <laughs> on a root or a rock, like I just did a moment ago, I realize how much of a blessing it is to have shoes. <laughs>
while I'm out here, I'm just gonna do a quick little hape ceremony. Ground even further, listen to the sounds of nature, and then carry on with my day. I think it's such a blessing that we have the ability to take our life, our lives, into our own hands. <sighs> Sorry. To take our lives into our own hands and move the present energies. Whether you're working, or like in this case, it's the weekend. We always have the time, no matter what you're doing or what you're involved with, we have the ability to draw ourselves inward and just look at this life from a different vantage point look at this experience of life we're having in a different refraction through the prism of consciousness, through the prism of awareness. We have the ability to shift these things. We have the ability to work on ourselves. And when we feel tight or stagnant or bored or sad or agitated, or frustrated, or whatever, whatever. When we're feeling happy, when we're feeling positive, when we're feeling uplifted, we have the ability to honor and nurture our lives. We have the ability to be present and to be grateful and to keep our bodies open, like a, 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 an open channel all the way through where things come in and then they go out. Where we're not locking in and holding in certain things, both the good and the bad things. We undam ourselves, literally and metaphorically speaking. We undam the river of our energy and are able to flow because life flows. Life isn't static and frozen and, and sequenced and boxed in, life grows and morphs and flows and abruptly changes. <sighs> and we have the ability to align ourselves with that change. We have the ability to align ourselves with our inner nature, which is innately in tune with nature. We just live in a wild society, a wild culture that teaches really wild shit. And we forget that so easily. We think we're, we think we're a thought. We think we're an idea. We think we're a cultural concept of this is who I am. This is what life is. This is what we're here for. This is how I feel about things. And we literally strangle ourselves out of, we strangle the inner life. We strangle the inner spirit. And then we wonder why we're so uptight. We wonder why we're so sad. 
We wonder why things seem pointless. It's because we aren't flowing. We aren't flowing with the way things are. And when you flow with the way things are, things are, aren't as bad. Things aren't as serious and dire. Things are a lot more floaty and simple and clear and all right and not as big of a deal. Things are a lot more manageable when we are flowing and our energy is flowing. And just coming out here and just the coming out here alone is a moving of energy. It's a moving of energy. Not to mention the the swim in that cold ass water and the yoga, really getting into the body and stretching and aligning. And just getting into the body and moving. And then the hape, which just washes away your 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 plans and your ordeals for a temporary period of time doing these things and even just sitting out here right now talking with you guys these things are are, are therapy for me these things make me happy these things are what allow me to see deeper into this life and not live in in someone else's idea of what I am and what I'm worth and why I'm here and it allows me to see my individual uniqueness shining through in this moment of oh wow I am holy shit I am you know <sighs> You may have just thought this was a travel video, a little, a little vlog style video, but you know Northwood Shaman can't hold back from getting deep on you, bro. You know Northwood Shaman can't hold back from that shit. <laughs> but yeah, I just, I just wanted to share this with you guys. It's a beautiful location. I love coming down here, listening to the running water. I don't know if you can hear it. And I'll be honest, this is, this is like the first time I ever went legit swimming in this spot. And that was, talk about moving the energy. I'll probably take a few clips as I, as I make my way back. This, there's a whole trail system that runs down through here and I'm surprised I haven't seen anybody to be honest. Yeah, I'll definitely, I'll definitely make some more clips as I'm walking down here because there's like a beautiful tree going across the river right there. But yeah, I just wanted to sit down for a minute, come into the moment, and let you guys see me doing that. Allow you guys to be here with me as I do that. So, let's carry on. The Devil's Drinking Cup. favorite mushroom to find right here, the old Amanita muscaria.
I'm gonna start making my way back now. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. It was really, really nice and refreshing coming out here, hanging out with nature. Thank you guys for joining me. I'd consider this a, a kind of travel video. Never shown you guys this spot. This spot. And I kind of want to do that more often, any of the places I visit. Just kind of show you what I'm up to and show you where I'm going and why I'm going there and stuff. And you can probably tell why I'm out here. I mean, come on, it's, it's secluded. It's got that Hobbit land feel to it, that magical feel to it. And I just love that shit so much. So again, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you guys later.